hello folks uh, welcome to this video uh, in this video uh, we will be saying about how you can make your own um, just uh, you know a vc chat application but uh, uh, right now it's not without voice it would be just video and in previous video we have seen some fun activity with open cv this is in continuation of that so what we will be doing is we will make a server and a client side code uh, like using socket programming and what we will be doing we will be using OpenCV to share the live feed of both the server and as well as client. So in this uh, uh, code uh, that is the server code I am using my own uh, webcam which is the internal webcam so if, uh, if you know that if you want to capture from the internal webcam the argument for uh, video capture would be 0 which represent the internal camera if you have an external then it would be 1 or 2 or 3 in sequence like if you have multiple cameras and if you, uh, if you know that if I if I am using this ca uh, camera uh, at present so my other program which would be using the same camera won't actually function so for that we need an external camera but if you don't have an external camera you can install an app called IP webcam and uh, in your phone and you can use phone's camera as your uh, secondary camera in per this example so what I did I have installed it and once you will start it it would just give this URL but at the end of that you need to append slash video to start the video feed to get the video feed from your uh, mobile's camera so let's uh, start and first of all uh, I'll explain a bit of it and how it, it's going to work. So there would be in each code there would be two components one for receiving the data and one would be for sending the data. Now why so we in, in, in chat applications we have seen that our feed is going to the you know the second person's uh, phone and his stream is coming to uh, our, our phone and simultaneously what happens our feed is also taken and it's uh, a kind of resized uh, or v-shaped and put it in a corner right we can see ourselves and the uh, and the second person right so the, i i tried to create uh, an environment like that so let's first run the server code and uh, once it's uh, started so just just for information what i have done is uh, to overlap it or let's say to mer like merge both I have used this you know like in OpenCV we all know that image would be generally an array and then we can do array operations on it so this is how I have done it I have re used re resize for doing so and uh, one more problem uh, uh, which occurs is of uh, this image from the phone now yeah, the phone pixel would be very high it would be around like 1080 pixels so what we have to do we have to also resize it before sending to it otherwise the uh, buffer size of this uh, won't be able to take it up and the screen would be very big that it won't fit in our this window itself so let's go and uh, start the uh, client side also so as soon as it's it started uh, there will be two pro uh, two programs coming up so this is the one which I was talking about the kind of uh, environment we see in a chat application so this is the one side and this would be the other side so right now this is connected with my mobile itself and uh, you can see I am using the front camera of my mobile and actually I need to tilt it horizontally to make it uh, correct uh, in, si in position and that's it so that uh, this is how this whole program works and uh, we can even do this on you know two different systems obviously like f my uh, phone behaves as a different device itself so this is how it will work and uh, <coughs> uh, let's close and what we'll do is we will stop uh, like we will clear all the outputs of both the program and what extra thing we can do on this is you can see there is a bit of lag in both of the videos now that's not because of the uh, like there are multiple reasons for it one is for the feed like we get and we need to transfer over the devices and other one is it's not parallel so I have tried doing it parallel and this is the, like uh, this is how the code looks like so the parallel code is obviously same both are same there is no need of server client here 
so in threading we you just need to split both of them so this is for the stream so let's say streaming means like taking the data and sending over it like sending over the network and uh, we display we display means uh, it's a server like taking the data and displaying on uh, the screen and finally you need to make two threads one for the vdisp and other for vstream and start them similarly it's for the client itself so there's no need of extra code in this because we are using both like we are using server and client and we are running parallelly but this will give uh, i think so a uh, error if you uh, run in the same uh, system like if i use both in the same system uh, we can try it on two different system and check uh, and it would work it would work because it's just you know splitting like combining this two and starting the threads so that's it for this video and you can even try it and you can add you know you can integrate it with pi audio to even send audio over the network and yeah, it would be a fully you know a uh, local uh, video chat application using opencv thank you and have a nice day